there is an idea that is being given or planted in our heads by other people, which is that you need to become successful and you need to make money. And I was very fond of all the things that money bought. But that one question that I'd had, which somehow had been from childhood, was what am I doing and what does it mean? But the day that Kavya came, I never asked myself that question from that day onwards. Hi, my name is Rakesh Shukla. I am the voice of Stray Dogs. About 10 years back, I decided that, you know, I, I wanted to open the company that I wanted to work for, which is the company I, I run today, which is TWB. And the Voice of Stray Dogs is actually a trust that saves dogs across the country. And uh, we have a sanctuary in Bangalore. 800 dogs live here with me. My first interaction with a dog is with this dog. Something inside me changed very fundamentally. I remember that moment because I remember that feeling of warmth, of this great responsibility, because I realized that now I'm responsible for her, for, for everything. How do I survive this overwhelming feeling? And the one way to do that was to have not one dog, but many dogs. When I started rescuing dogs, many things happened. Many NGOs, people who work for them, they took it upon themselves to make sure that VOSD should close. I have been dragged into courts, I have criminal cases, I have civil cases. That was the beginning of a very, very long struggle. This company, which, which was like a, you know, a world-class company with hundreds of employees, I went from hundreds to being the only employee for the next three, four years. And I had to liquidate everything. Emotionally a very disturbing time, financially a very disturbing time, but I knew one thing that I had to somehow survive it. I also learned tremendous amount about other people's character. When chips are really down, I think pretty much everybody leaves you. But one thing in that very, very dark time I realized was that I'm the most loved man I know. There are people who cannot say for themselves that they're actually loved by even two or three or four people, really, truly loved. And I have 800 other really intelligent beings that love me. But the happiest time for me uh, is actually the time when I go to sleep with them. I know that in the evening today, for example, when I go back, I will go to my room and there'll be 35 dogs which will be waiting to get into the bed with me. They do it with such love and it's indescribable. There are dogs which don't have eyes, they don't have legs, or they're in great pain. Because the wisdom that I'm looking for, it doesn't come in a bottle of alcohol, man. It doesn't come in a book. It's right here. And because this dog will carry on no matter what. Dogs have amazing resilience. They will just keep going till the last time. It's a crazy life, but no regrets. I mean, ultimately I do it because somebody has to do this and I've been given the privilege to do it.